And here we are, Saturday afternoon. I was hoping that due to the quite nice weather, except of this wind, as you can see, uh, that we will go for a noon walk, but someone wasn't up to it. She said, leave me alone. I am comfy. I am sleeping. We are not going anywhere. But then at her usual time, 4, 4.30, she said, okay, now we can go. Uh, so here we are. I don't know for how long we will be walking, but perhaps she will be inclined to go for a long walk. But yeah, tomorrow morning we will definitely go for a long walk. Uh, because Nar will not be here so yeah most likely I will once again uh, Lisa wants to go to the left no 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 tukaj greva naravnost predna kar čez 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 now she demands treats she will get a single treat she got like 20 already predna hodmo so yeah, most likely we will go to the uh, Kuseze Pond once again to see the ducks and the swans. Uh, you know, it's 1st of June and, you know, the government said they will reveal the plan for ending the strikes and so far Nothing. But you know, uh, people are actually quite relaxed regarding this. Uh, I think, you know, it's not the first strike. It will definitely will not be the last strike. Um, some of the groups of employees that were um, talking about striking like police officers and teacher teachers they didn't strike well yet so yeah but this week there was uh, once again a debate regarding legislation not pretty easy Lizika, pretty. Those two yappers. If Lisa comes inside of that fence, yeah, I think they would be quite silent. Uh, one of the debate that it was um, brought up again this week was regarding short, to uh, short term rentals here in Slovenia. And this is once again, you know, uh, uh, not a long topic, uh, not just long topic, but also something of convoluted topic, intertwined topic with other topics. So basically, uh, as I have told you before, you know, here in Ljubljana, they are building quite a lot of apartments, but majority of those apartments, which are being, of course, approved by the city municipality, are considered and are, you know, upscale luxury um, apartments, which are not affordable to majority of the people that need housing and 
so on the one hand we have quite a lot of um, supply which is not uh, realistic not not uh, yeah, not viable let's say the majority of the people in it and quite a lot of guys see na kuja na pay na pridigle kuja gre na pray kuja gre na pray si ja vidiš ja ne poznaš ja ne poznaš ga pridi na pay another dog going to walk pretty easy so yeah and of course people that of course own the apartments are trying to get their money's worth from their real estate from their property properties so due to the fact also we have to uh, take into consideration that Ljubljana is a capital uh, it's a center of Slome Slovenia in several if not most let's say economical categories it's a uh, you know um, center of public administration politics yada yada we are also a university city we have one university, University of Ljubljana, several uh, independent private schools, um, and even two other universities are present here. University of Maribor, and also the new university. So we have quite an influx of people from Slovenia and abroad coming to, Sloven to Ljubljana and they are in need of space so for example you know this building the the brick red building and that one behind this so this is cool uh, those are the student housing uh, buildings the old one and the new one so you know if you're fortunate you will get a place here or in several other uh, housing projects across Ljubljana if not you have to rent a whole apartment with others room or even a bed you know but because Ljubljana is also a tourist destination for foreigners and of course Slovenes but mainly foreigners who need to sleep sleep here that means we need even more beds and because the landowners realized that they can make more money from shor short term renting through you know airbnb and other um, platforms online platforms this has even worsened the situation which means uh, there are several cases that they are con you know c continuing still on that for example some um, property owners are renting long term let's say some are just using their apartment for rent just for you know short term okay second uh, let's say group are those who are uh, using their apartment well they are li um, renting their apartment for a long term so let's say for a student to a student students for uh, let's say nine months but then they have to move out of the apartment with all their stuff 
for let's say three week uh, three months so that is usually june july august or july august september you know they have to pack up everything leave even though some are still you know in, uh, taking their final exams or they want to stay in Ljubljana and work through the summer but you know they have to go out and because some people are making a lot of money through short-term um, renting um, more and more um, fellow uh, real estate owners are taking their path their route and they are starting not to uh, you know rent their apartment for a whole year or even nine months but you know they will go just completely into the Airbnb um, sphere but we have a, now you know a lot of need for apartments but officially in Slovenia currently there are more than 120,000 empty un uh, vacated apartments so nobody lives there and in Ljubljana I think there are so of that about 20,000 is there so 20,000 oh, oh 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 are in Ljubljana officially why officially because I have a great suspicion that majority of these 20,000 empty apartments are actually being rented out um, long term or short term and you know on so called black market so no taxes are collected no nothing I think this is a large problem also and of course government doesn't do basically anything so one of now uh, propositions is that they want to curb or limit the number of apartments that can rent a short term rent and for how long they can rent so you know is uh, if you have apartment for example let's say this is just something that uh, I'm making it up if you have a second empty apartment you can rent it for short term but only for like two months in a year but that would be of course also then you know problem for students but still would be better for students because they will still be able to get an apartment here in Ljubljana so now this is a new well new and old debate how to uh, improve the housing situation while not infringe on uh, you know constitutional rights and free market and so forth for me you know the best solution would be that all these empty apartments should be uh, let's say investigated and inspectors should should see if anyone is actually living there and if they are you know penalties financial penalties are would be in order but of course um, the inspectorate has a chronicle 
shortage of personnel and of course they have to cooperate with the police so yeah and nothing happens basically people are just uh, putting out new legislation which in the end doesn't do anything or anything good because people will still um, break the law and do what they want and yeah there has to be a systematic approach to this problem you know why the municipality allows uh, building of so much new apartment complex complexes plural of uh, luxury of upstairs or upstandard um, level and why they don't you know demand okay you want to build apartment building with six floors um, you can have two floor of upscale living and four of social housing that would be solution you know and then you have new apartment buildings all across Ljubljana and you go you know by night you go around them and majority of the lights are off nobody lives there but officially everything has been sold yeah, yeah quite a long rent rent on rent situation okay we will end on this point